diagnostics. Rest and test at home. Snap Diagnostics makes at-home sleep testing simple and effective. Test registration is required to limit your out-of-pocket responsibility. If you did not register already at your doctor's office, please call the SNAP Diagnostics registration line before proceeding. The SNAP test is a sleep study. It monitors your breathing and or snoring sounds, as well as your pulse and blood oxygen level while you sleep. For optimal results, three overnight tests are recommended. This data is analyzed to assist your physician in the diagnosis and treatment of breathing disorders. It is a very simple process and takes place in the comfort of your own home. The SNAP diagnostic system comes complete in its own carrying case. The system features a cannula and microphone to record snoring and breathing sounds, a respiratory effort belt, a pulse oximetry finger sensor, the recorder with power cord, and instructions. Your doctor's office should have plugged in all of the sensors for you. Make sure they are all securely attached. If the sensors are not attached, refer to the instructions for assistance. It is important that you keep your normal bedtime routine to get the most accurate results. The room should be quiet and comfortable, and you should allow yourself the time to get a full night's sleep. Set the recorder on a bedside table, plug the power cord into a wall outlet, and switch the power on. The respiratory effort belt should be placed around the lower rib cage with the sensor located over the sternum. Adjust it so it is tight but still comfortable. Place the cannula on your face so that the longer set of tubes points down toward your mouth. The band should pass above your ears. Make sure the cannula is properly fitted. It should be snug but comfortable. Test the sensor by speaking your name a few times while looking at the display on the recorder to confirm that sound is being detected. The pulse oximetry sensor goes on your finger. It is important to remove any fingernail paint, polish, or other substance on the nail for the sensor to work correctly. If you have acrylic nails, you can use your big toe instead. Gently pinch the sides of the sensor to open it and then place your finger inside so that the fingertip just reaches the end. Do not insert it too far. Let the sensor close around your finger, making sure that the two raised areas are on and below your fingernail. Wrap tape around the hand and wire to help keep the sensor in place. The recorder's display will let you know when the sensor is properly attached by displaying numbers. This may take as long as 20 to 30 seconds from the time you put on the sensor. For pediatric patients, it is often easier to wait until they have fallen asleep before putting on the sensors. Place the cannula on the child's face as you would for an adult. The pulse oximeter, however, should be placed on the child's big toe. An adhesive pad holds the pulse oximeter sensor in place. Notice that the holes in the pad match the shapes of the two raised areas on the sensor. Place the sensor on the pad. Wrap the pad around the toe and then apply some tape around the foot and wire to hold the sensor in the correct position. Once all the sensors are in place, press the red recording button. The LCD will indicate that the recording has started and the amount of recording time available. If this is not the case, call your physician's office or SNAP Diagnostics customer service line. If you need to get out of bed during the night, simply take off the sensors while allowing the unit to continue recording. When returning to bed, put the sensors back on and verify that the lights on the recorder are green before going back to sleep. The simplicity of the SNAP diagnostic system makes troubleshooting easy. This message indicates that the unit cannot detect the airflow sensor. Try disconnecting the cable and plug it in again. The green LED should light up when the sensor is detected. This message indicates that the oximetry sensor has not been detected. 
reconnect the cable to make sure it is secure, and check for the green light. If you do not see any numbers under the pulse icon, try moving the sensor around on your finger and wait 20 seconds to see if a number appears. If it does not, remove the sensor and make sure that the finger, fingernail, and sensor are clean. Reattach the sensor. Wait another 20 seconds and check the LCD again. If any of these errors continue, call the SNAP Diagnostics Customer Service Line for assistance. When you wake up the next morning, remove all of the sensors. These will be reused for the second and third night's recordings. For each additional night's recording, reapply the sensors and press the record button as previously instructed. When the final night's test is complete, turn off the power, unplug the power from the wall, place everything back in the case, and return the unit to your physician's office as soon as possible. SNAP Diagnostics combines home recording with sophisticated technology and fast reporting services. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to call or email us. SNAP Diagnostics. Rest and test at home.